morning everyone let us start chapter 2 lines and angle of grade 6 mathematics connect the dots without lifting your pen how will you connect all these dots using only four straight lines hope all of you might have connected all these dots without lifting pen this is the answer in 1914 Sam Lai released this puzzle in his book, Cyclopedia of Puzzle. To solve this one, we have to draw outside of the box. In this lesson, we will learn about dots, points, lines and more. Here while connecting, we are starting from the external point of this one and we are going this one. Then we are coming down, then we will be having this 45 degree slope, then we are joining. This is the way of connecting the dots without lifting pen, with the four lines. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to differentiate points, lines, line segment and rays from each other. And we will be able to recognize point, line segment, rays and lines with examples. Point. A point is a single location in space. It does not have any size, length or width. We show a point by drawing a tiny dot. Did you notice? You always begin with a point when drawing or writing. For example, if I want to draw a straight line, I will begin with a point. So, this is a starting point. When I want to write an alphabet A, so I will start here. So, this is a point. So, there are the many points into the e alphabet A. What is the difference? A line segment. Line segment connects two points and has a length but no width. For example, this is a line segment. So, we are connecting just two points. If you consider this is a point A, this is a B, then we are connecting. This is a fixed length. A line. A line extends infinitely in both directions, has no bends and no width. So, this will be a line example. A ray. A ray starts at a point and extends continuously in one direction, has no defined length or width. For example, sun rays. So, it has starting point is a single point and ending there is a no end point for this ray. From a point, we can draw a line segment, a line and a ray. If we consider this as a point, O as a point, can you identify the examples of this different length? Example, if we consider OA, OA is line segment because it has a fixed and O, if you consider this DB, DB is a, a line and OC is a, a ray. Similarly, OF is a, a ray. Let us solve X size, figure it out. We have marked a point and a piece of paper. How many lines can he draw? that pass through the point. This is the one. Next, Sheetan mark two points on a piece of paper. How many different lines can she draw that pass through both of the points? Can you help Rihan and Sheetan to find their answers? Let us see. So, if Rihan has a mark only a point, so how can you do that? Rihan, infinite number of lines can be drawn to pass through a point. In a plane. For example, as a, this is a Rihan's point, if this is a, R is a point, then through this point we can draw infinite number of lines. Similarly, for Sheetan mark two points, assume this is a, a and B. Now, passing through this point, Sheetan can only draw a single line. Therefore, the Sheetan only one and only line can be drawn by passing through two points. Let us see question number two. Figure it out. Name the line segment in figure 2.4 which is from the five mark are, are exactly on one of the line segment. Which are on two of the line segment. So, we have to identify which are the line segment. Line segments are 
LM, if we see LM here, this is a line segment and MP is a line segment, PQ is a line segment and then QR is a line segment. Now, points L and R are there. L and R on the line segments only, but M, P, Q, R on two line segments. See, if we observe here, M, P, Q, this has this two line segment. M has a line segment M L as well as a line segment M P. Similarly, P has a line segment P M and line segment P Q. The Q has a line segment Q P and line segment Q R. These three has a two line segment. But L has a only one line segment L M. Similarly, R has a only one line segment R Q. Let us see question number three. Name the ray shown in figure below. Each T is a starting point of each of these rays. Here, rays, as we show, starting point is a T. So, TA is a ray. Next, TB is a ray. And also, TN is also a ray, which is starting from this T and this going. Yes, the answer is yes. T is the starting point each of the two rays, TA and TB. Let us see question number 4. Draw a rough figure and write labels appropriately to illustrate each of the following. We need to write OP line and working meets at O. Next one is a ray XY and line PQ intersect at point M. C is line L contains points E and F but not point D. Point P lies on AB. Let us see first one here. O is the starting point here. And this OP is, this is the ray. Line. Next one, OQ is the, both meet at the point O. Second one is, a ray XY and PQ intersect at point M. C, line L contains two points E and F on this one, but D is not on the line L. Similarly, D is in this point P lies on AB. So, here point P lies on AB. Let us see question number 5. In the figure 2.6, name 5 points. We need to name 5 points and a line, 4 rays, 5 line segments. So, what are the points here? B is a point and this D is a point. Here B is a point. C is a point. D is a point, E is a point, and O is a point. So, these are the five points. Next, we need to mention a line. Line is DB. DB is a L line. Next, four rays. Rays, are, if you consider the O is a starting point, then OB is a array, and OC is a ray, and EO is a, OE is a array, and OD is also a ray. Line segments are DE because it has a fixed length, next EO it has a fixed length, next OB it has a fixed length, plus DC is also, if we join D and C, this is also a line segment, next DO, DO is also is a line segment, this one. Let us go to question number 6. Here is a ray OA, figure 2.7. It starts at O and passes through the point A. It also passes through the point B. Can you na also name OB, Ray OB, Y? Can we write OA ray as a AO ray? Why or why not? First, first, first one. Ray OA can also be named as a OB because starting point is O for both these rays, OA and OB. And the direction remains same. Next one, first one is yes. Second one, ray OA cannot be named as a AO because the starting point of the ray is O, it's not a U. That's why we can only name it as a ray as a OA but not as a AO. Let us recap. A single point. A point is a, a single location in a space. What is a line segment? It connects two points. What is a line? It extends infinitely in both the directions. What is a ray? A ray starts at a point and extends continuously in one direction. 
is the time for quiz. Test your knowledge by answering the quiz. Which of this starts at a point and extends continuously in one direction and has a not defined no length? Is it, is it a line or line segment or a ray? It has the answer is the ray because it is a one direction and it extends infinity in the only one direction by starting at a point. For example, here if you consider the O and the A, here if it's a starting point is O and this we denote it up, then OA is a ray. Thank you.